Hello and welcome to the Philippines, uh, exploring White Beach in Moal Cebu. I have been to uh, Moal Boal uh, several times uh, in the last six years. Uh, went diving there a few years ago, and uh, it is very popular with uh, with tourists, with expats, and with uh, Filipinos as well. Uh, look at that water. Great water, great diving areas around here. I'll show you a map of some of the dive uh, areas, dive and snorkel areas uh, a little later. They've got the very famous uh, sardine runs that run off here. They used to, I read some years ago, they used to, the sardines used to run off of Pescador Island. Uh, so people would take boats out there, uh, maybe a 15 minute ride, something like that, I think. But uh, the sardines, the last uh, number of years, they have moved in. You see where the darker water is out there? They pretty much run out there, but I even saw some very much closer to shore the other day when I was there. Uh, anyway, a nice white beach, and this is from the parking area. Uh, you can take a tricycle um, for, I don't know, 100, 200 pesos, depends on what the demand is. A tricycle uh, will take you out there from the, uh, uh, from Moal, Boal, and uh, I've said that wrong for a long time, and people keep correcting me. They didn't understand what I was talking about. Moal, Boal. They pronounce all the words, all, all the letters, pardon me. And uh, this is where we, there was par public parking up here. I think we paid 25 pesos a piece or something, so about, uh, about $2 to park there for the day. Uh, for four of us, and a number of a number of places to rent here. Some uh, very basic, some much much more than just basic. But uh, hello, I'd heard different things about White Beach, and uh, good to finally get here to see what it's all about. Oh, but okay. absolutely no tourists. Bouncing over to Google uh, Maps, uh, always appreciate the fact that uh, we can use Google Maps and Google Earth. Uh, there's an app, uh, Google Earth, that you can uh, download for free, and a lot of information there. Anyway, give you an idea, for those of you who don't know uh, what area we're talking about, you have Cebu Island, Cebu Island, Bahol, Leyte over here, and you have uh, Negros Island, Dumaguete down here, very popular place, Oslo, where they uh, watch, there are a couple places where they do whale watching, that is one of them. And Mole Bowl is over here. So we took a trip from Cebu City up here and went down here through Telesai and went across over here, I believe. One of these roads, I believe it was this one. And uh, yeah, into Barilli and down to Mole Bowl. And that actually is, a, is the same view I had out of my uh, resort room. Anyway, we'll zoom in here into Mole Bowl. And what I've read on uh, Lonely Planet site is that uh, Mole Bowl, actually the town here, is uh, over here, and uh, it's it's a little ways to the beaches. You have White Beach here, and it's not marked here, but you have Pangasma, Pan Pang. Pangasama, Pangasama Beach, uh, down in this area. Now, you have Pescador Island. I've been diving there. Very popular dive spot. I'll show you a little later. A map showing many of the dive spots uh, all the way from up here on down further south. Now, one thing about Google Maps is that apparently anybody can put a place marker anywhere they want because uh, White Beach is listed down here, and in fact, does this look more like a White Beach? Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in here. Go back down where. Uh, you've got a number of resorts along there, and these, uh, these, this is not the White Beach, and you can see pretty clearly where the White Beach starts up here. And uh, I think we were parked right in this 
area right in here. Not absolutely positive. There's some public parking or possibly in here. But you have, uh, you, you've got a stretch of White Beach and then you don't have White Beach. We spent two days there, uh, Pangasama Beach area resort, and I d did a previous a video about that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, for six years I've been taking video in uh, the Philippines, three trips here, and uh, I've done a lot of cost of living, I've done a lot of reviews of condominiums, uh, a few subdivisions, mostly in Cebu, but some over on Iloilo and over on Bohol Island. Uh, travel videos, a uh, number of different types of things. Uh, so check those out, over 900 videos. And uh, we were told here that the best snorkeling area was down from White Beach, down a ways down in front of another uh, resort down here. So we were walking down here. Uh, um, this is not a dive video, but I'm just going to give you just a little bit of footage. It was, it stays shallow a long ways out there, and you can see this would not be comfortable walking with bare feet unless you've got very hard bare feet. Um, so I was, in fact, I was uh, laying in the water with a snorkel, and I got up on that concrete little path and followed it out there ways. Stayed uh, because you were almost hitting your, your knees on. Uh, on the bottom in some places. It got a little bit deeper, then it got more shallow. Uh, so you can understand why they use the type of banca boats that they do that have very, uh, sit very, don't sit very deep into the water because they would, uh, they would scrape up uh, their boats pretty bad. Not a lot of fish this particular time, but uh, did see a little bit. We, in retrospect, we should have taken a boat to drop us off in the deeper water, and that's what we would do next time. I have read that uh, there is a uh, rare sighting of thresher sharks uh, down in this area as well, as they come up and uh, try to uh, feast on those millions and millions of sardines as, as they're making their sardine run. Uh, I went up to uh, Malapasco Island on the very north end of Cebu Island a number of years ago, learned how to scuba dive. And uh, I think I'm on my fifth day up there, I went down with an instructor uh, to view the thresher sharks. And uh, it was a, an awesome experience, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, you can see where the, the uh, white sand beach stops very abruptly on this end and then it curves around and you've got quite a quite a stretch there with quite a number of uh, resorts some of those resorts were going under rehabilitation when we were there construction cleaning up getting ready for tourism where is the tourism government please open up the gates let the tourists back into the Philippines some of the best some of the best diving, snorkeling areas in the world, right here. I'm going to give you a little bit of a look at uh, what the roads are like driving out here from uh, from the other mole bowl area. There's a Gaisano Mall uh, closer into the other beaches uh, that I showed on my previous video, and uh, roads are roads were pretty good. There were a few areas where it got a little rough, and then some of these uh, few signs out here directing you to various uh, resorts, and uh, we end up cutting off uh, up here a ways, and that'll be a different video, off to a, uh, a marine sanctuary. Uh, in fact, I believe that white, part of that white beach area is part of a marine sanctuary as well, but they've got a number of them and uh, many of them in the uh, Philippines. Those plants there are dragon fruit uh, plants is what I was told. Uh, very expensive but very good. I, I don't buy them often enough but they're, they're very good. Mix them in with a uh, smoothie and that's the first time I've actually seen the plant. I had no idea how they grew. One thing you'll find in the Philippines, and as you travel any country, 
of course, is the, the changes in the food, the different types of food, the different uh, customs, uh, what's available. We do get uh, a fair amount of uh, produce imported from uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, China, uh, many other countries as well. Uh, so there are options, and then we're going to we're going to get off the beaten path, and then you get uh, roads like this. So we took this down. We we saw a cut off to a marine sanctuary, and that's where we uh, decided to go check that out. We had time. Looked like a big storm was moving in. We had a pretty good lightning storm that night, uh, but got a cu couple sprinkles, I guess. But that was about it. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Got a contractor starting to make a lot of noise uh, in a unit below me. Uh, so anyway, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.